back to my channel. My name is Robin. If you are new here, welcome. So for today's look, we're going to be doing a purple eyeshadow with the inner corner. It's going to be magenta. And then um, on the wing, we're going to be doing a magenta glitter. So I'm really excited about this look. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the eyeshadow that we're using today, we're going to be in the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. Um, this one is going to be the Masquerade palette. And then we're going to be playing with two colors out of here, which is going to be the darker purple, which is called uh, Makita. And then the um, magenta color here is going to be called Zobo. So those are the two colors we're going to be playing with. So I'm going to go ahead and take my um, fluffy eyeshadow brush by Wet n Wild and I'm just going to go ahead and swirl that in that dark purple and we're going to go ahead and start packing this in um, on our lid. So let's go ahead and start here. Again, um, you want to pack this heavily also. Um, just so you can get, you know, the most color. You want this to be very vibrant and you want it to pop. So again, we're just going to be using our windshield wiper motion, just back and forth. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have that packed very heavily on my lid and towards my brow bone. And I'm leaving a little open space towards the inner corner for the magenta color to, um, to go. So now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild concealer in the color uh, Fair Beige. I'm just taking a little bit on the applicator and I'm just gonna go right here towards the inner color, uh, inner corner and just dab that on there. And we're not doing a full, um, a full lid today like we would do on a um, cut crease. We're just doing strictly the inner corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that. So now I have my um, concealer blended where I want it towards the inner corner. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that magenta shade here, the Zobo shade, and I'm gonna take my Morphe angled um, blending brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of product on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start packing that right on the concealer. Again, you do not wanna rub because uh, you don't want to, you know, make a mess by rubbing the concealer too hard. You just want to pat the eyeshadow right on that spot where you have the concealer. Just like So that. now that I have my eyeshadows done, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my e.l.f. liquid liner in the color uh, Jet Black. And I'm going to go ahead and start making my wing. Now I have my wing eyeliner done. So now I'm gonna go in and we're gonna get started on our glitter. So of course I'm gonna go in with my Elmer's School Glue. This is um, safe and non-toxic. So I have some here on my dresser and then I'm just gonna take the back, um, well the tip of a tweezer and I'm just gonna dip that in my glue and go ahead to pack that on just the outer corner of my wing. Just start placing the glue exactly where I want my glitter to lay. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take a Q-tip. As you guys can see, this is what I used for my other one. I'm gonna take that Q-tip, dip it in my glitter here. And I'm just gonna start placing the glitter where I want it. Just okay, like so now that I have my wing done, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my other lash. And this is the one, I believe these are the number threes from the 3D Mink Lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lash on. So now 
now that eyes are done so far, um, we're, I'm going to go in with the professional primer. This is very, very tiny. It came in a, um, what do you call it? An Ipsy bag. So I'm going to go ahead and go in and prime my face. Now face is primed. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in and do my color correcting with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange. We are primed, color corrected. We're gonna go ahead and go in with our foundation. Today we're gonna be using the Juvia's Place Magic Foundation. I am the shade uh, 200 and this is called Kenya. And you can get the Juvia's Place from, um, I found it at Ulta Beauty. I'm not sure if they have it at Sephora, but I know for sure they do have it at Ulta Beauty. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foundation. And this foundation is simply amazing like full coverage foundation mattifying just 10 out of 10 would recommend. go ahead and start blending in my foundation with my damp um, beauty blender go ahead and blend this out okay so foundation is all blended out i'm going to go in with my la girl pro concealer to highlight and then shade fawn And I'm going to go up close to that wing to clean up that eyeshadow. Concealer is blended in. I'm gonna go ahead and go in to bake with um, my um, what is it? Makeup Revolution um, baking powder in the shade terracotta. I'm just gonna get that on my beauty blender. We're gonna go ahead and go in with our Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my flat brush, Elf flat brush. And I'm gonna go in with this darker shade first, this one. Go ahead and contour. I do the darker line first and I go over it with the sculpting, um, which is this um, middle shade here, and I go right over that darker line. Because like I said in my previous videos, that darker shade is a little bit too dark for me. So I like to go over it with the lighter brown shade. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit. And I'm going to go ahead and go back into this Masquerade palette and I'm going to smoke out my lower lid. And I'm going to take this uh, Morphe brush here, it's like a little flatter, um, what do you call it, a uh, flatter eyeshadow brush. Gosh, I can't get my words together today, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and start smoking that out. 
and I went in with the magenta shade because um, I didn't want it to look too dark under the eye so I didn't want to go in with the darker purple so now that the lower lids are smoked out I'm gonna go ahead and sweep away my baking swept away I'm gonna go in with my mascara by elf this is their volume plumping mascara in the shade black I'm just dusting my bottom lashes okay, so now that mascara is on I'm gonna actually go in with a lighter shade um, from the same palette called um, Dahia um, this one right here, like that very light, light gold. And I'm just going to swirl my eyeshadow brush into that. And I'm just going to highlight my inner corners. Just kind of give it a lighter look. Take a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight um, with my DLS Baked Highlighter. Um, this is the shade Bellissima. And it's a funny thing, the other day on my other video, I had used my Milani highlighter. And then this one is called Bellissimo. So I'm just like, mm-hmm. Okay, whatever. But I'm going to go ahead. So I've seen this on previous videos where people don't actually use like a fan brush or like a stipple brush. They use like a regular um, eyeshadow brush and to apply their highlight so I'm gonna try that today and see how it turns out the only thing that I don't like is it makes a streak so I guess if I do swirls it maybe it won't turn out like that so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out this time see that's what I don't like so I'm that's not gonna work. See, I knew I probably wasn't gonna like it, but I tried it, so whatever. I'm just gonna go in with my fan brush by Morphe. I'm just gonna kind of blend that out a little bit because I just can't stand that like straight line. I do, I, I can't, I can't get with it, I can't. So I'm gonna go ahead and dab that in my highlight again, just brush back and forth. And this is, such such a pretty shade of highlight i really like that it almost looks like a blush but see i like that better that's the thing about trends it always doesn't work for <laughs> everyone so Okay, so now that we are highlighted to the gods, I'm going to go ahead and put on my lip. Um, this is by Black Radiance. I cannot remember the shade, and it has rubbed off, so yeah, it's just like a plum shade. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this on my lips. And this is like a sheer gloss which I really like. Okay, so now that this look is done, we're gonna go ahead and set with our Rimmel London um, Stay Matte Setting Spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and mist that on my face. Alrighty. So guys, that is it for this video. I really appreciate you guys coming back for another one. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below. If you liked this look, please give it a thumbs up. Um, so please follow me at my social media. I am Robin Chisholm. That is my Instagram. And if you guys want to follow me on my Snapchat, it is Robin with the underscore Y. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so I will be back later this week with another video. Um, until next time, guys. Bye.